In this video, I'm using proportions to solve percent problems. By percent problems, I mean these short sentences that involve percents. We're going to follow this pattern. We'll use a proportion to set up the problem, and I'll be solving it much the way I did in the first video on this page, ratio and proportion, and equations that are not proportions which is to say I'll reduce whenever it's convenient and I'll solve for x. Also as indicated in that first video, when you're given three numbers and asked to find a fourth, proportions are often a good way to do so. 80% is 80 over 100, so that's two numbers. Here's the third number. You're asked to find the fourth. It's the same way with each of these sentences. With each of these, I'll put in a fraction bar, equal sign, and a fraction bar. And then looking at the sentence, based on the words is, of, and the percentage, I'll follow this pattern. So what number is, is goes in the top position. So for what number, we'll put a variable. I often use x. 80%, that's the same as 80 over 100. Of 15, of goes in the denominator, so the 15 goes in the denominator. Now you want to solve for x. All we have to do is get rid of this 15, so multiply each side by 15. On the left side here, it's going to clean up right away. 15 goes into 15 once. Over here, we can reduce before we get started. And it's a good idea to, otherwise you're going to have to multiply 80 times 15, which is quite a number. So here you have common factor of 10, divide by 10, divide by 10. Looking here, we still have a common factor of 5. So divide by 5 leaves us with a 2. Divide by 5 leaves us with a 3. I could even divide a little further with the 2 and the 8. But it might be kind of confusing seeing all these numbers crossed out. So let's just see what we've got now. This is x. Bring down your equal sign. 8 times 3 is 24. And 2 is in the denominator. So this is what's left standing. And we can reduce this very quickly. 24 divided by 2 is 12. So bring down your x and your equal sign. What this means is 12 is 80% of 15. 75%, that's 75 over 100. Of what number, since of is in the denominator, we'll put our variable in the denominator, is 45, that goes in the numerator. Once the proportion is set up, you can reduce wherever there's a common factor. Here I could divide by 25 and divide by 25. In general, 100 is an easy number to work with, so I'm going to keep it. I did reduce it over here, but I was able to get it all the way down to a 2. So that was pretty convenient. It's really just a matter of preference. So let's clear this of fractions. Again, the least common denominator is 100x. So you multiply each term on each side by 100x. The x's cancel. The 100's cancel. So this gives us 100 times 45, or 4,500. Bring down your equals. 75x. Get rid of the 75 with division on each side. Of course here, 75 goes into 75 once. Over here, again I could reduce, but I'm just going to go ahead and do the long division. So 4,500 divided by 75. And it's, it's probably hard to think of how many times does 75 go into 450. But if you cover a digit and cover a digit, 7 goes into 45 6 times. 
So we'll try 6 times 75 and see if that works. 42, 45. So that gave us the 450. You have to bring down that last zero. 75 goes into zero, zero times. Bring down your equal sign and that x. So what this says is that 75% of 60 is 45. 12 is what percent what percent of 40 that puts 40 in the denominator I could reduce right away but all I got to do is get rid of this hundred and then I'll reduce so multiply each side by a hundred these divide out divide by 10 divide by 10 you can go a little further here divide by 4 and divide by 4 so now we have a 1 in the denominator which means we can basically ignore it all we have left is 10 times 3 bring down the equal sign and the x but when you set up proportions you take care of the placement of the decimal by saying divided by 100 as we did here divided by 100 if it says what percent you simply put in the percent sign without moving the decimal For a little bit of quick practice, you might want to pause the video and try setting up each of these. Do not worry about solving them, just set them up. On the first one, 80%, that's 80 over 100. Of 15 is what number? On the next one, 45 is? 75% of what number? Our variables in the denominator. What percent? That's what percent of 40 is 12. And notice that this proportion is set up like the one above it, even though the sentences are a little different. The same situation here, the proportions are the same, the sentences look a little different, and here the proportions are the same, but the sentences are a little different. And we're not going to bother solve these three at the bottom, because since they're set up like the ones above them, you're supposed to get the same answer. Looking at this first one, we're given a mixed number, percent. It's easy to work with decimals when you have percentages. So let's just change 6.5% to 6.5%. And I'll still refer to this as 6.5%. It's commonly understood. So 6.5%, 6 6.5 over 100 of 20, puts our 20 in the denominator is what number so that leaves us with a variable in the numerator to get x by itself we just get rid of the 20 multiply each side by 20 over here 20 divides 20 leaves you with 1x or x over here I could leave it as is but 20 times 6.5 um, there's a real easy common factor of 10 to get out of here so divide by 10 and divide by 10 now I only have to multiply 2 times 6.5. I could reduce even further, but I like working with 10. If I was to reduce, I'd have a 5 here. It's a little more work. So that's 12, 13, and one decimal place you come in. 
So we get 13 from 6.5 times 2. 10 is still in the denominator. And bring down the x. Usually if you start with a mixed number or a fraction, you end with a mixed number or a fraction rather than a decimal. So I could leave it as 13 tenths, or I could write this as 1 and 3 tenths. So what this says is 6.5% of 20 is 13 tenths. Might seem like a strange answer, but it's the correct answer. 4.2 is 1.2%, that's 1.2 over 100. Of what number puts our variable in the denominator? Variables in the denominator, I'm going to clear to fractions. The x's cancel, the 100's cancel. You're left with 100 times 4.2. All you have to do is move the decimal twice. So that gives us 420. Bring down your equals, 1.2x. You want x by itself, get rid of the 1.2 with division on each side. Of course, they cancel, and we have to do some long division. So 420 divided by 1.2 ends up being 350. Bring down your equals and the x. And what this says is 4.2 is 1.2 percent of 350. So what percent, that's x over 100, of 5 puts 5 in the denominator, is 3.5, puts 3.5 in the numerator. Need x by itself, let's get rid of 100, we'll multiply each side by 100. Obviously the 100's cancel. Here uh, we could reduce pretty quickly, 5 goes into 5 once, 5 goes into 100 20 times. So we're left with 20 times 3.5. So 20 times 3.5 is 70. Bring down your equals and your x, but you have to remember this is a proportion that says what percent. So you have to take your answer and put in a percent sign, again, without moving a decimal. What this says is that 70% of 5 is 3.5. We'll look at three more. They're a little bit different in that rather than simply numbers, we're talking about trees, money, and students. All right, so looking at the first one, what is, so what is sits in the numerator of 60 trees of 60 sits in the denominator. 140 percent, well that's the same as 140 over 100. To get x by itself, simply get rid of this 60. Um, we can divide by 10 and divide by 10. Again we can divide by 10 and divide by 10. Of course these cancel. So all we're left with is 6 times 14. So that's 84. Bring down your x. So 84 is 140% of 60 trees. This would be 84 trees. This 4.5%, I'm going to write that as a decimal. 
4.5%, that's 4.5 over 100. Of what amount, so the variables in the denominator, is 18. I don't want a variable in the denominator, so I'm going to clear the equation of fractions, multiply by the LCD, which is 100x. Of course, the x's cancel, and you're left with 18 times 100, or 1,800. Over here, the hundreds cancel, 4.5 times x. Let's get rid of this 4.5. Of course, on this side, they cancel. And we have to do some long division. It's hard to think of 45 going into a number, but 4 goes into 18 four times. 16, that's 18. Okay, so that worked. Bring down your equals and your x. 4.5% of $400 is $18. I should have put in my dollar sign there. Looking at our last problem here. So 94 students is, puts 94 in the numerator. What percent x over 100? of 26 students, so 26 sits in the denominator. We need to get rid of this 100. On this side, divide by 100, divide by 100. Over here, we could do some reducing. You have an even number over even number, um, even number as well. So I could start cutting some things in half, but 94 is not real easy to cut in half. I'm just going to go ahead and deal with what we've got. So 94 times 100 over 26. That's our x. So again, we'll go ahead and deal with the long division. 26 is almost 25. 25 goes into 94 three times. Gives us 78. Twenty-five would go in there six times. Bring down the zero. Obviously, 26 goes in once. We need more digits to bring down. 26 goes in there five times. Notice we're rounding to the nearest tenth of a percent. So this will be the tenth of a percent. Remember, we're in proportion, and we've already taken care of the placement of the decimal. We just have to put in a percent sign. So we're going to round to the tenth of a percent place. It means we just have to know what digit sits right here, and we'll be ready to round. Well, 26 goes into 100 three times. So rounding this number to the nearest tenth of a percent gives us 361 and 5 tenths. So we've solved for x, but we're to write this as a percent. If you'd like a little more practice with these type of problems, as long as you're at my website, I have a worksheet along with a detailed answer key.